How's it going everybody, Gold Hat here and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be entry one of Katana Kata. This is a brand new little indie samurai game that has just dropped. We are going to be covering this as a walkthrough guide. There's going to be about six segments that I'm going to be doing on this. So let's go ahead and start our first new game and let's begin. So the first couple things that I want to talk about is this is a souls based game. We are going to have a lot of different fighters that we are going to have to fight through these levels and each one is going to be a tone to a different skill and we are basically going to have to identify how they're going to fight and how we can parry block and dodge those attacks while landing our own. So this is very skill based and it is actually a lot of fun. There is quite a bit of gamer score that you can get through this $10 game or trophies if you are a trophy hunter for PlayStation. So this is definitely worth the cash if you are trying to get some gamer score. So as soon as you start a new game is what you're seeing now and that is just a dream world where we are fighting one fighter and after that we are going to have a cutscene. Through that cutscene if you did manage to break your weapon we will get our first achievement slash trophy and that is for breaking your weapon for the first time. So now after that cutscene, we are going to be starting in the dojo. I'm going to go ahead and leave this little tutorial in here real quick. The first thing we are going to be covering is the fighting zones. After the dojo, I like to keep my fighting zone for the bathhouse all the way to a minimum. And that way we can run around anytime we want. The next thing we are going to be covering is the sticks that we are going to be breaking. The first one, you just have to do three strikes. It doesn't matter which one. The next one is going to be our heavy attack that we need to charge all the way up and that is how we can slice through all that bamboo. The next one is going to be fighting him. We are going to parry him and then do the dodges on him and we have completed the tutorial. So real quick with the parry, the way we can do this here is our attacks. We have a high attack and a low attack. The low attack is going to be our heavy attack. But when we are wanting to parry an enemy, we are able to see them charge up high or charge up low. What we want to do is shoot the same attack. So if they are charging up a low attack, we want to go ahead and shoot that low attack right at them. And it will automatically parry and we are ready to move on to our next parries or you can actually attack right after. Yeah. Next up, right after that tutorial, we are ready to go to the Buddha statue. Now there are going to be statues across all the levels, but right here in the dojo, there is one that we can come up to. And this is where we can level up what we want here, the health, the breath, the strength, or the dexterity. Now strength is going to be our how much damage we're going to be producing. Health is going to be how much we have. Dexterity is going to be able to move faster and hit faster and block faster. And then our breath is what is basically our stamina and that will boost that stamina. So we are just going to throw that skill point on breath, but through the bathhouse, which is going to be our first level, there is going to be a lot of leveling up. So don't feel like that's like a major decision on that skill point. There is going to be about four or five more that we can play with right after this level. So once we start the bathhouse, we are going to start going through these rooms and taking everybody out. A sumo wrestler is going to be our little boss at the end of this mission that we are going to take out. These first couple guys, the main thing here is to make sure that you are just parrying them and then hitting them and killing them. But you can also pick up their sword because your sword will break if you do not sharpen it. So it's best to just keep switching out weapons. It's not too big of a deal, but just make sure your sword is all the way sharpened so it does not break. 
Next up outside, there is a Buddha that we can level up at, along with a Karate Guy. That is going to be our first Karate Guy. Now, if you are blocking and they hit you, they will take a little bit of damage because they are hitting your sword. We also picked up an achievement for killing our first Bathhouse Bandit, and we will get another achievement here for killing our first Karate Warrior. Yeah. Next thing I want to talk about is parrying again. So on their health bar, you are able to see a red arrow up or down. That is going to be their attack. So if you match that up or down attack, that is going to be the parry. And once again, you just want to shoot that attack as soon as they're charging up to hit you. So just do that attack and it will be a successful parry. And then you can follow it up with a light attack, which will be a hit. <laughs> Next thing I want to talk about is perks. We are able to identify a perk here at the Buddha statue that's going to be here. As you can see, there is a green symbol right under that dexterity, and that is one of the perks that we picked up from killing one of those guys. I am going to die here shortly so I can show you the options here at the end so you can keep your perks if you want to keep them. But as perks come to you, they're just going to disperse through those four skill points. And that one is just dexterity. So we're going to go ahead and kill these guys and move on to our sumo boss. One quick thing until we go into the courtyard, there is a bottle of health right there that we can go ahead and pick up. Once we come out here, the only enemy is the sumo. We are going to be able to see him charge up every time he charges or does any attack. You just want to dodge away from it and then he'll overextend. You can make one small light attack and then dodge again and just rinse and repeat until he's dead. I'm going to go ahead and die here so we are able to analyze the death screen and I can show you the options there. So you have two options here. The first one's going to be the home dojo. That is just going to take you back to the home and then you can restart the level all over again. Or you can fight in your nightmare in order to keep your perks. And we are just going to fight a samurai in here, which we are going to do here now. This is going to bring on an achievement slash trophy and that is going to be meeting our death for the first time. So let's go ahead and get this fight done. And we are ready to keep our perks and restart that level. <laughs> So once you do die, either you fight the nightmare or you go back to the dojo, you will have to restart the level. I'm going to go ahead and run through this level real quick and I will talk to you right after. <laughs> Yeah. 
So right after killing the sumo, we have now completed the bathhouse level and we will get an achievement slash trophy here that is too heavy and that is for killing our first sumo warrior. As soon as we have done that, we can look at the leaderboards and right after that, we are ready to go back to the dojo and this is where we can jump into our next mission. So the next thing I want to show you before I cut this entry off, and that is the guys around the dojo. These are samurais that we can just fight with if we want. If we die, we'll just start back in the dojo room. You will not lose anything if you die in the dojo. But if you do kill one of these guys real quick, we will get an achievement slash trophy, and that is for killing our first samurai. As you can see here, I just died. I'll show you that picking up right back at the dojo. We're right back here. We can just run back at him. Fight him, kill him, and we will get our achievement slash trophy. Next up, we are going to go to the Buddha statue. I'm going to show you where I'm at right now on just the leveling here and where I've been putting my points. And that is those perks that we got, but those are going to be different for you just in case. But now is our achievement slash trophy for killing that samurai. And we are ready to go back through the gates and that will be a level selector for us. And we are going to have that menu. So our next location is going to be the garden, but this is a souls based game and there is a lot of techniques that we have to get down. But the main thing here is leveling up because the garden is going to be quite difficult. So I'm going to be running the bathhouse and completing that about six or seven times and that will be me ready for the garden and that is going to be an entry two. So that is going to be wrapping up entry one. As always, I hope this walkthrough guide has been super helpful. If it has been, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to drop a comment down below, or you can hit me up personally on my Instagram. The link is in the description box, and I'll see you guys next time. Gold Hat, signing off.